Now we have another table called tab 3 with columns call 4 and call 5. It has data like this. Now I do select call 3, call 4, call 4, call 5 from tab 2, tab 3. What will happen? We have a call 4 here and a call 4 here too. We have two columns with same names. Oracle will give an error saying column ambiguously defined because it doesn't know which column we actually meant. To avoid such ambiguity, we can qualify the columns with the table name in front of it. This way, Oracle will know which table's column is being referred. But what if my table's names are large, like these? Can we write this huge SQL? Not needed. We can give a short name to the tables in the from class and use them in front of the column names in the select class. Like this. Here I gave a short alias for this table as LT2 and LT3 for this table and I am using those aliases in front of the column names in the select class. This keeps the SQL more readable while preventing any ambiguity. So if we go back to the original SQL, we can write it like this if needed, T2 and T3 are aliases for tables tab 2 and tab 3 respectively. Thank you for watching this video.